Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. All right, we continue to track some non-severe activity working through southwest Connecticut. No lightning even associated with this, uh, just some heavy rain uh, moving uh, toward Middlebury right now, right into Seymour and Sonia Shelton right along and over the Route 8 quarter, even down into Stratford. So uh, this holds together, could reach the New Haven uh, metro area, but uh, this should generally be on a weakening trend as we head through the next hour or so. Temperatures are still fairly mild, 70 to 75 along the shoreline. We've got mid and upper 60s throughout inland Connecticut, holding on to 73 in our capital city, but 63 right now in Salisbury. So some uh, relatively cooler and relatively drier air is going to be filtering in. So a subtle downturn in that humidity for tomorrow and as well for Friday before it ramps right back up for this upcoming weekend. It's filtering into the state right now in a light northwesterly breeze uh, at around uh, three to eight miles an hour. So dew point values, for instance, southeast of 84, still 65 to 70. But in the northwestern corner of our state, we've got dew point values values in the 50s. So that is certainly uh, in that the uh, more comfortable air that's going to be overspreading the state. Uh, so uh, meanwhile, again, from Hartford, we've got 73, some partial clearing, otherwise mostly cloudy, similar scene coming in from New Haven, looking skyward from the Elm City, 75, and from Southeast Connecticut, uh, dry looking live from New London, where we're right at the 70 degree mark. So earlier, of course, we had that line of showers and thunderstorms, downpours moving across southern New England, reducing visibility. Uh, again, none of them reached severe limits. We were not expecting severe weather today. And uh, this area of low pressure that's churning through the northeast is weakening and moving away. So uh, that's going to give us behind this front uh, a westerly flow that's going to bring in that drier air for tomorrow. So dew point values again on the way down. Temperatures uh, off to our west uh, in the lower 60s that will continue to funnel in our direction. And those dew point values off to our west in the 50s. So a more comfortable air mass on tap, at least relative to where we have been the past couple of days. Overnight tonight, we'll bottom out between 60 and 65 uh, inland, mid 60s along the 95 corridor. Tomorrow we'll see a mix of sun and clouds and outside of perhaps a brief isolated shower or just some sprinkles, it's a dry day uh, with that mix of sun and clouds. So it's going to feel quite nice. High temperatures uh, in the 80 to 85 degree range for many communities, which is right on track for what is considered typical or average for this time of year. Then Friday, we end the week and the month of June on a quiet note, a little bit warmer than tomorrow. Again, we'll see sun and clouds but it'll be comfortably warm as those dew point values uh, remain in the upper 50s and low 60s. The humidity uh, increases over the weekend, could get up to oppressive levels Sunday into Monday, and that is right in line with our next chance for some unsettled, wet, perhaps stormy weather. So again, we'll end the week Friday with highs well into the mid, perhaps even upper 80s. Uh, Saturday, a mix of sun and clouds. The shower or thunderstorm threat is isolated nature, also late in the day. High temperatures in the mid 80s, so certainly if you're going to be doing outdoor activities. Uh, Saturday looking to be the better of the two traditional weekend days. Sunday, uh, a better chance for some isolated showers and storms, otherwise mostly cloudy, a couple degrees cooler relative to Saturday. And then Monday of the four-day holiday weekend, perhaps going to be the wettest with scattered showers and thunderstorms. For the 4th of July on Tuesday, while not a washout, we can't rule out some isolated showers. It is six days away, so we'll keep you updated as we get closer in time. Of course, the WFSB weather app is a great way to stay up to date. Otherwise, it's going to be warm and and humid, and that unsettled trend could actually continue into Wednesday of next week as well. Mark, thank you very much.